What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we've got a little bit of a project. We're going GoPro today. We're going minimalist today. Just a little bitty GoPro, no big camera um, yet. I need to build some stuff in the back of the vehicle. Uh, pretty much to mount like right here to there. I've already sort of popped that open so I could see what was holding this on. Um, and a couple up there. I need like two poles with some rings so I can build a rod holder in the top of the roof. Um, just so I don't have to keep putting that middle section down and laying the rods all the way through the middle. I think it would be a lot better to go up there. And I have a very, very simple and cheap way to do it, I think. Um, in my head, at least, I've got a way to do it. So we're gonna get in the car and let's uh, go to Lowe's or any home improvement store really. You could do this even with Walmart, I believe, but there's one piece I need at Lowe's. Um, I need to get a measuring tape to take with me. So let's go to Lowe's, roll the intro, and uh, I don't think I'm gonna take y'all in Lowe's with me. I think I'm just gonna go in and I'll show you what I get afterwards. But <clears throat> let's get this measuring tape. This is gonna be crucial. Let's go to Lowe's and uh, get this thing done. Roll the intro, let's go. All right, so as much as I didn't want to, I had to um, only get a few things at Lowe's. I had to get these. These are one and a quarter inch caps, like PVC caps. Um, and these are gonna be mounted on the sides to uh, help anchor the bar that I need to go across the, uh, the, the truck. So the thing is, is I was gonna get everything at Lowe's, but they're, they're overpriced on some things that I could get at Walmart for like half. So, and I knew that going in, I just didn't think they were gonna be double the price. I thought maybe just a few bucks more and then that'd be it. So right now we gotta go to Walmart, so let's do that. Walmart's packed, so I'm not bringing y'all in there either. Y'all don't even know, like I did want to, I wanted to avoid Walmart like the plague because in real life, like right now, it's Christmas Eve. So the parking lot is like freaking packed. So let's get in here and see if I can get my shower curtain rods and uh, shower curtain hangers and then we'll get back to the house and I'll show you what we're actually doing today. All right, so we are back from Walmart. We've got our stuff, so here's what we're working with. Here's what we picked up at Walmart. All this is is a shower curtain rod. I got two of them and I do have shower curtain rings. That's all this is, shower curtain rings. These were like a buck. These guys were $10 each, like nine eighty-eight. So pretty much for like 20 bucks, you can get this stuff. I did add these, these were a uh, a dollar a piece. Um, I don't think we're gonna need those, but we're gonna check. The only thing I need that I actually have at the house are cable ties. That's it, they're 75 pound rated, which should be more than enough, um, but just some cable ties, and that should be all we need for the project. So let's go to the truck, and I'll show y'all what the plan is. So originally, I was gonna take that out of the back. I've got them on both sides. I was gonna take those out. Let's pop it. I'm gonna pop that open. It's already got a screw in it. I was gonna take these out and I was gonna put those white, you know, couplings or not couplings, uh, uh, PVC caps on here, and I was gonna extend the rod. Unfortunately, the distance between that one and that one is about 40 inches, and I've only got 43 inches to work with on those rods. So I, unless I can figure out a way to cut them, um, that ain't gonna happen. And up there, that guy right there, and that guy right there it will fit across and I'll show you how we're gonna do that. So we're in the back seat now. You can actually lean this down and I'm gonna try to fit it in right there. Like just press it up against right there. These, or even just have these down and have it, you know, sitting in this little area. Um, something not permanent that I can just throw in here um, and be done with. Should be super, super easy and uh, quick to do. So let's get started. All right, we're gonna start with the back back here. All right, so y'all are there, obviously. And I'm gonna put this and this. And we're gonna twist it. Lock it in place, just like so. That thing ain't going nowhere. Just a pole that is literally locked in place going from one end 
to the other. It's not gonna interfere with the baby stuff. It's out of the way. And this is gonna be the one that's furthest up to uh, basically make it where the rods are gonna rest on this. And back there's where the reels are gonna be. So that's the one that's gonna take some work. Let's get through working on that. Now one thing I did just notice when I was taking these things apart, these ends actually come off and that may be um, what gets us where we want to be because I really want this to be mounted as high up as I can get it. So let's, uh, let's crack this one open and figure out what we're going to do for the back. I hate doing these how-to videos because I never edit them up right. I always leave out some stuff because I just move too quick and I never take the camera with me. So I apologize if that turns into one of these, but I'm going to show you how I did it. Um, maybe not the whole process because let's be honest every time I've ever done one of these videos it never turns out well because I always feel like I leave some really important stuff out um, we're gonna do our best though you know what we're about to hack away at this thing and make it work so this is all that's really uh, two pieces right so what we're gonna do so we're actually gonna chop this one down to size that we need and then I think we can put our little caps back on. I think we can make this work. I really do. I think this is... We're on to something now, boys. We're on to something. This is going to work. Yeah, buddy. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this. We're going to chop this part down uh, several inches. Probably about that far, I would think. And uh, then we're going to get this thing legit working. Let's dremel it up. So we have chopped the pole, the, the little one pole down to 36 inches. So it's 36 inches in length now. That guy right there, that pole, 36 inches. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna remove these guys. So I need to get a bolt and uh, remove those guys. And then uh, I'll show you what we're doing next. For any of you that have a uh, Toyota 4Runner, this is a 2018, that's a 10 millimeter, so removed that. Now that those are removed, we're going to take the thing we got from Lowe's and we're going to actually put it right there. So let's go do that. we got to measure that out and uh, be right back. So I've got these guys, these little caps, these PVC caps, and what I'm, my plan to, to do is put it like right here. And the reason I like it being rounded is because I can actually angle it like that. As long as I can get my uh, socket in there to screw it back in, it should be just fine. Alright, so what I've done is I've tried to line up the holes as much as I could and put a dot in there. That's where the screw needs to go in. Um, so we're gonna go now drill out these holes. I'll be right back. So I've drilled out the holes. This is what I've come up with. Looks just like that inside there. So there's the bolt. As long as I can get this thing back screwed in, I think we're gonna be golden. Hmm, let me go get an extender. Uh, even better than an extender. An extender that angles. Perfect. Alright, it's not on there perfectly straight, like, as in level, like, you know, level. It's kind of angled down just a smidge. Not really going to affect it that much, so I'm not too worried. Let me get the other one up here and let's, uh, we're pretty much done. So let's show y'all what we have so far. This is what it looks like. We've got that one and that one, and they're, yeah, they're angled down just a smidge. You can kind of tell there, they're angled down just a smidge, but I don't think that's really gonna matter. Let me get this bar in and I'll, uh, I'll bring y'all back. All right, so there it is. That thing is in there and look, it ain't going nowhere. Pretty happy with that. 
and uh, now we can actually show you how we're gonna hang the rods. All right, so this part is actually super simple. We're just gonna take these guys. These are our shower curtain rods, or shower curtain rings, I should say, not rods. We've already got the rods up. I've got the little ring right here locked in, so it's locked in place. Hopefully it's focused on that. All we're gonna do is take our zip tie, we're gonna go through this and put it on our bar, like so. We're gonna take and we're just gonna hang it up just like that. So I'm gonna do all six of these, then we'll get back to you. So I actually went and hung up a seventh, but there's what they look like on the initial thing. I'm gonna go ahead and clip those uh, zip ties but that's what it looks like, and then I'll show you how it works, and uh, then we'll be done. All right, so let's select a couple rods here. We only need like one or two, just for the purpose to show you what we're doing. Let's, uh, let's grab this guy. I believe, if I'm being completely honest, the rod socks on these rods are absolutely necessary, um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this guy and go over over all of that and then bring him back through there like so y'all see that and because we go over that pole right there it keeps it off your head it angles it all up which is like perfect and you can see this is a seven foot rod i do have one seven two that i'm going to pack in here um we probably should go get it as well just to test it but these are all seven footers, and it looks like I can weave them with the rod sock over there. I don't have to worry about getting caught on the eyes of the rods. And uh, boom. How about that? So there you go. That is about as easy as it gets. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I'm gonna basically add a bunch of these in here real quick just to see how it all looks. Oh yeah, there you go. All done. Even put a fairy wand there on the end for all you uh, guys that don't use bait casters or like finesse fishing. Even put a fairy wand on there. Now with that fairy wand, you will see I do not have a rod sock on it. I don't have a rod sock for the, uh, the fairy wand, but uh, I was still able to get it in there pretty easily. So honestly, that was uh, one of the easier builds I've ever done. I mean, check this out. You're gonna be in here driving and you're not even gonna know. Like, they're totally out of my way. They're gonna be out of my wife's way. So I shouldn't get many complaints there, which is always a plus. The baby will be totally unaffected. That is just a sweet deal right there. I like it. And we did it for about 20 bucks. I mean, it was, I think it's gonna be 22 bucks because we actually did use the couplings and I'm sorry, or not, I keep wanting to call them couplings. The PVC caps we actually used, so that made it a huge plus. It just, it looks better, it looks cleaner back there like that. And uh, I like it, I can dig it. And that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. I mean, for 22 bucks, I don't think you can really beat that. Um, and I tried to make it as open as possible. So even if you didn't have a 4Runner, like that's a 2018 Toyota 4Runner. If you don't have a 4Runner, if you've got any kind of SUV, it should work in almost any of them. So that's, tried, tried, to, tried to help everybody out. But again, I've seen similar things on like Tackle Warehouse, Cabela's, Bass Pro, and usually you can't get them for under 30, and we did it for 22. You can't beat that price. But if you like today's video, hit the thumbs up, and uh, as always, hit the red subscribe button, turn it gray, subscribe to the family, the BFF, the Bee Fishing family, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later, guys.